With all the YouTube hype around Xbox 360, there's still games we want to play. I'm Scott. I'm Jen. And these are the games we want to play in 2024. Or at least try. Okay, so anybody that knows me knows I love survival horror. So you're going to see a strong theme here. And it's not crazy, but it might Doesn't. be by the end of this. <laughs> so the first two games, I'm bringing them out in a group of two, I had to put on my list was Saw 1 and 2. Now I had the first Saw, I do believe, and Marcus picked up the second one or vice versa. Oh, a yes. friend of ours, yeah, we went over to his place. <laughs> and he place. was gonna give it to me and I was like, no, no. I'm going to buy it from you because it oh, you is, bought that from him? Yes. I thought we went out and tracked it on eBay or no, something. No, there was one of them we got in town. The other one I got from Marcus. I just can't remember which one. But I didn't want him to give it to me. It had already been an expensive game, and they're both going up in price. Now, I like the Saw movies. You, not so much. I did play a little bit of one, and I was like, oh, i got to get around to playing those eventually. And it just hasn't happened yet. So I have to put these towards the top of my list. Tell me what you guys think. Well, wait, I'd love wait and see what, you, what else you have. What else, what, what else I have. But put Saw, your saw, away. saw is high on my list to play for this year. All right. This one is probably a little out of my wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. But everybody I know speaks very highly of it. Especially my son. And it is Fallout New Vegas. Single player? Yes. Oh. Um... This is his favorite Fallout yeah. game, and uh, he's played it multiple times. I would think a lot of people would probably agree. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I really, I haven't played any Fallout. I'm just thinking that this sounds like it could be the best Fallout game to try. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah. All right. Because I played the first one this year, I figure I should probably play Darksiders 2. We didn't have Darksiders 2 in our collection. This yeah, is a fairly recent pickup. <laughs> Wasn't expensive. No. And from what I understand, it's much like the first one. Darksiders, uh, I don't know if it's called Tree or Darksiders. I can't remember the name of it. But the third installment is a lot different. It's more top down, I think I've heard. But You're talking this... about Darksiders Genesis? That's the fourth one. Okay, then maybe three. That's a co-op top down. One. Okay. Three is a different character, I do believe, or something. Yeah, like that. but I'm really excited to play this one. A lot of people have told me it's really, really good, and I'm expecting it's going to be just as good as the first one. I would assume it's going to be pretty similar. Yeah. I haven't played number two. I've only played the first one. Yeah. Next one on my list, and I will fully admit that this is a YouTube uh, <coughs> influence based on people saying, get these games before they go up. And Jenna's like, you know how freaking expensive this game is now? Well, when... Spectral Force 3. Yes. I'm looking at the art style on the back, and I mean, damn, it looks it looks pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know anything about it other than it's an Atlas game, which means it's probably an RPG. Well, when Jamie was talking about it, we watched RNG Gamer today mention it, and he was like, it's this price. And I think it was quoted at 120 I on... paid... 34 back when I got it. Yeah. Well, it's still showing showing up in price charting Canadian for $60. So when I said, no, we don't have that one, you were like, yes, we do. I said, no, because I know what games are most expensive on the system, and that's not one of them. Look at the back it of is. the game. I don't know that it'll probably be out of focus. If it is, I'll cut it in. But yeah. look at the art style on the back. It looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. I had no idea anything about it other than YouTube is telling me I need to get that game and because it's, it's going up in price. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I already have it. Okay. I admittedly don't know a whole lot about this game, but again, I, I love survival horrors and it really spoke to me. I had to pick it up. I, I don't know much about it. I just know that I saw it at uh, Nerdful Things and I picked it up and uh, I, it could be terrible. It looks like it's in your wheelhouse. It's in my genres. wheelhouse for sure. Tell me, guys, have you played Deadly Premonition? Is it worth the play, or should I put this towards the bottom? Didn't they I release that on the Switch it? recently? I don't physical copy know. Of that? Or is that like a sequel? I can't remember. I have no idea. I might be thinking of something completely different. This one here is my pick. I don't blame YouTube on this one. But it's uh, Blue Dragon. 
RPG. Yeah. Um, I've seen some gameplay. Looks pretty cool. When you go and you look up uh, best RPGs on the Xbox 360, this always comes up in that. Um, it's hard to tell with that little thing up there, but I guess it's an only on Xbox 360 yeah. game. So, and looks like there's three discs there. Jeez. Yeah. I had no idea. Yep. So, be careful if you're picking up this one <laughs> somewhere. Can't make sure you have all your discs. Yes. That happened to me in a yard sale. Yeah. Bought a game, like, okay, cool. Walking back to the car and I'm playing. I'm missing half the game. Yeah. Definitely want to check for those. Okay, so, again, Condemned Criminal Origins. Now, I have heard more about this game. I don't know if the second one was on the Xbox or only on PS3. I do have it on PS3, but typically when I buy a series, I like to buy it all in one or all of it on both. Um, I, I know this one is pretty cool. I don't know if it graphically stands up, but I'm going to try it anyways. Oh, it doesn't matter. No. Sega! Sega! My next one. I haven't played the first one, but again, when you look up best RPGs on the next one, is that, this is a theme for me here, this obviously. This is a theme for Scott. Uh, Magna Carta 2. Magna Carta 2, yeah. Two. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm sure you guys will correct me. Again, you go and look up this best RPGs, blah, 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 blah. Multiple My discs in here, too. Two discs. Guy. I think, yep, just the two discs. So I have no regrets. I don't know if this one's gone up in price. I'm not sure, but I know. I know the, uh, the Nerdful Things got a really big collection of Xbox 360 games in, and this was one of those. It was right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I paid forty bucks for it at the time. Yeah, but I know they got a. Now. I know they got a big collection in, we and there were some more notable time, ones, yeah. and that was one of the ones we picked up. I still don't have the first one in PS2, and that's what's kind of holding me off on this. I don't know if the two are connected. So sometimes, sometimes you can play it without it. Someday, yeah. So <laughs> this is gonna be a hot take. Hot take. Uh, I know not everybody <laughs> loves the Connect. I'm gonna tell you what. I think the Connect is a gimmick. It, it, yes, I will admit it is a gimmick, but but it's a horror game. It's probably more of a. You're just, how are you going to set shooter. the atmosphere in here with a horror game? You can't well, turn you all the lights off. The lights with the freaking connect. No. Yeah. But it it looks very. It might be cool. Yeah. It, it kind of looks a little bit Resident Evil, Silent Hill ish. It, it does, but just what's, going by the back. I, I'm thinking like House of the Dead inspired ish maybe maybe, maybe. but uh, i don't know anything about it i'm gonna try it will they continue to provide service to the connect sensor with the start i don't know i could just that could be oh, paperweight yeah, you, i'm not sure no. connect, i'm not sure how that works connect works it works it's just a camera okay another rpg for me and it's another only on xbox 360 lost odyssey mm-hmm I hear some mixed reviews on that. A lot of people say it's fantastic. Some other people say it's pretty difficult. There are four discs. Jesus. Four discs in this. And I do believe the first time I bought it, this was the game I got at the yard sale. And I was missing discs. And I was like, shit, I think there was only two discs in there. <laughs> yeah, Remember that's that? crazy. And I had a hard time getting my money back from the person. Oh, yeah. We had yeah. just left. It's not like you didn't see us. So I, I paid 25 bucks for this at the time when I bought it. And I bought this a few years ago. I still haven't played it yet, but four discs is kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how long it is either. I saw this in a, another Canadian gamer's pickups, and I was like, screw it, I'm going to get it. <laughs> I saw it in town. Naughty Bear. It's the gold edition, so Ooh. it has all the, infer uh, all the DLCs on it. Huh? You're just basically an evil bear. And you're going I got around. one over there, no, snoring on the evil. chair. He's just snoring. He goes around killing everything. I always got I, Kill I gotta, Bill from this when I seen the yes, cover. I was going to say the exact same yeah. thing. I don't know why I needed to have it. Some evil Care Bear. But I had it on the wish list, and then Parlor ended up getting it. And I was like, oh my god, put it aside for me immediately. <sighs> I just want to be an evil bear, I guess. I'm not sure. But. All right. Next one for me is Near. I do believe I may have also on the PS4 now, possibly. Mm. I don't know. 
Anyway. You have a lot of games. I have a lot of games. Yes. Um, Is that like a hack and slash? It's still an RPG. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh... Are they all RPGs? Mm, no. Not all of them. All. Most all. Out of the stack so far, this one is probably the most likely that I'm going to pick up first, unless people in the comments change my mind and say I have to play otherwise. something else different. Yeah. All right. I've heard a lot about this game, and uh, I know Tom and Lacey talked about it as well. Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper. It's a. It's kind of like a murder mystery. I don't think there's any combat involved in this one. But it so like a point and click on I, it might be. Yeah. I don't know a terrible amount about it, but I would think it would be a lot like that one I played on the Xbox. Why can't I think of it? <clears throat> I really want to get up and go check. The murderer was filled with an incredible It's another spiritual. kind of murder mystery detective series. Scott will pop it in here if I, I, you don't, he won't. But I, I honestly really, really want to play this one. I've played games like this before, and I've liked them. I'm hoping I can find one I really love, and I'm hoping this can be it. Do you have any left over there? One. one. Okay, I have a double. Now there's a little bit of a, I don't know what's going to happen here. I bought Sniper Elite V2. I bought two copies. Mm -hmm. Now what I do to play these suckers uh, coach co-op is you have to be online. Me and my son, I'll play two TVs in the same room online. But mm -hmm. now that the Xbox 360 store is going down, I wonder if I need to be in a big rush to get these. This yeah, game maybe that played. has to go towards the top. Because I don't think it's a system link. Uh, I think it's basically you're going online and playing. Two-player co-op online. Tell I us, guys. See. Yeah, Good. maybe you guys can help me out in the comments here, because we uh, we played Sniper Elite Four together. Yeah, loved it. Mm -hmm. I have Sniper Elite Three for the Xbox One. I have two copies of that, and then I went and bought two copies of this so we could play it. So hopefully, I can play those, or we're gonna have to play them real soon. Yes, like real soon. Yes. Okay. Last one. We have extra stuff for this too. A friend gave to us, but oh yeah. I'm stepping inside my comfort zone with all my survival horror, but this is like an acid trip puzzle game, is what I would consider it, and that's why I want to play it. Now, I did play probably about an hour of this we game. We popped it in one night there, I think when uh, Phil had brought us, was it the Arper, a book, or a soundtrack, uh, yeah, or, or something. there was something that he had extra and he brought it for. Yeah. To add to our collection, so. Yeah, but I just, I have it on the PS3 as well. And I look at it every now and again, and I say, I'm going to play that game, and then I just don't get around to it. But it is really interesting, and exactly like I described it, a puzzle game on an acid trip, like, he's a ghost? Like, in part of it? I don't, I don't really know a whole lot other than I the can't hour remember so because it, it was a long, it was probably three, four years ago that we popped this in, but yeah. I, I mean, I aspire to want to play the rest of it. And uh, maybe it could move up the uh, ranks if you guys tell me I should play it first. But mm. so these are the games that we want to play. We're probably not going to play them all, but no. you guys can help us in the comments decide yes. what we need to play first. Yeah. Now, if they tell us what we need to play first, do we go by however many people say the same one, and then we just go ahead and play it? Oh, you're looking like for a vote kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. I know some people leave some big, long, passionate comments that kind of sell me on games, so... Yeah. <laughs> do do your best. I, I mean, it, four people could tell me to play one game, and one person could tell me way more about something else. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, let us know what you guys think, and uh, if you guys have been enjoying the Xbox 360 content on YouTube, I don't know. Is it oversaturated? I, I, I wonder. Are we driving up price? I'm not trying to drive up prices. No. But... It just kind of put it on our I'm radar. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Until next time, game on.